Now let's go ahead and install webpack and webpack dev server as well locally within this projects within this node modules. For that npm install webpack and webpack dev server again as dev dependencies so hyphen d enter that is so we have a pack web pack dev server also installed locally within this project okay it might take a while for all these installations based on your network speed so just hang on there until the installation completes and the dependencies are displayed in the JSON file. Now I have all the libraries and dependencies that I need to develop a React application. So let's go ahead and create the application. We need to import React and React DOM and for that you can use ES6 notation which is import React from this is same as this ES5 and this is ES6 all right and then we need react DOM from react now you must be wondering what react here is react here refers within node modules this is the file that it refers to traverses to node modules and picks up these relevant files from those relevant folders okay and then we use react dom dot render it takes two parameters the first one the UI element that you want to display so in our case let's just call it h1 hello react then close it off the second parameter is main app so if you remember in our HTML we have a div by name main app and react appends this h1 element within main app div in HTML so let's save open command prompt navigate to your project folder now in videos that we saw before we used to directly run webpack and it used to pick up the webpack config file for us it used to take this input and give us the output that was because we had installed webpack globally but in our case we have now installed webpack locally and we want to run this version of webpack how do we do that for that what we can do is we can give scripts within json file something like this scripts and you can call this anything you want let's call it webpack run so this would be our custom command that we, we would be running and the location the path of the webpack is 
current folder current folder which is react app within that node modules within that you have a folder called dot bin and in that we have webpack this is the command we would be running webpack all right save it now to run this particular command you can go to command prompt and type npm run the script name which is wp run when you hit enter look at that it's running webpack now it ran the script and executing the webpack from a local node modules folder great so it has created the bundle.js file for us so this is the file it generates now if you open the index.html cool so this the h1 that we had rendered through react dom so there you have it you created your first react application makes you feel really happy after all those painful setups to see it working for the first time now let's write a script to run this on a server let's call it wp server current folder node modules bin slash webpack dev server the folder that we want to serve to this server would be content base current folder static and let's open this in a port number 5000 save it clear screen now run npm run webpack server hit enter So once you get this message that bundle is now valid you can go to your browser there you go all right it's being served from the server now That's it for this one. Stay tuned and subscribe. Cheers.